we have some video now of a NBA star getting arrested. This happened, um, you may have heard about this, Jackson Hayes, star for the New Orleans Pelicans, was at a, a home here in the LA area when he got arrested. The police said they were responding to a report of alleged domestic violence, um, and they went there to check on uh, the woman who was in the house. They get into an altercation with Jackson, and now we have the video. TMZ Sports got this video that shows the arrest, because we knew that we knew he'd been taken into custody. We knew that there was a, a scuffle with police uh, and that he was tased. But now we're going to see it all unfold uh, in this video, and it is very dramatic. And his friends are standing there watching this, and you can hear their... I, Harvey, I think they thought that he had been shot by the police. Yeah, I um, do too. Just from the panic yeah, there, there's, their voice. There, there is a momentary panic there, but there is more to this story. So w here's the video, and then we'll explain. Stop! Stop! Get your hands off him now! Stop! I seen this whole thing. Fast numbers. No! No! What is that? What is that? Stop! 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 Please! Please stop! Bro, they just came up to us and walked into here, and I and Jackson said you can't go inside. They started touching him. He pushed him around, and that's when he tackled Jackson. He just tackled Jackson and over. Back up! Back up! What's your badge numbers? What's your badge numbers? Okay, that's my friend right there. I'm not tackling. Back up! What's your badge numbers? Stop! I'm not doing anything right now. I'm filming. I'm filming. I'm filming. Stop! So there are a couple of things. I want to address the easy thing first, which is the guy that was filming when they said back off, he did mm -hmm. back off. He backed up and right. he walked away from them. And then you see these officers come and tackle this guy, what, or at least attempt the, the, to. Who are the other, the other officers come rushing in, uh, what, at least two more officers we saw rushing in there. I, I, I don't understand the justification. Cool. This guy has a right to videotape if he wants to. And sure. they said back off and he did back off and then they went after him. So I don't know, to me, they crossed the line doing that. Look, here's what we're told happened. He had a dog, and his girlfriend had a dog, and the two dogs got into it, and then the two of them started arguing over who was at fault, and that's what the neighbors heard when they called 911. And the police wanted to get in to see that the girlfriend was okay, and apparently he resisted. And Jackson that's, didn't want to let them in, right. And that's what triggered it. Exactly, and cops are saying that Jackson was the one who essentially started it all. Uh, they said uh, Jackson pushed a cop against the wall. And this, remember, Jackson is six foot 11, 220 pounds. So I think that's why you're seeing kind of a little bit of panic in video from cops when they're talking to his friend and you know, rushing at him and stuff, because this is a big, big man here. And it's taken three people to put him down and they still can't get him down with a stun gun and all that stuff. But cops are saying that body cam footage shows that Jackson was the aggressor. They show that he pushed them around. They've launched an investigation to it all, obviously, but the preliminary results appear to be that Jackson was the aggressor, and that's why you're seeing so much violence. Well, yeah, if they have that all on body cam, then obviously we're going to want to see that. Um, if they're claiming that he is the one who instigated the, you know, the physical uh, altercation, that should show up on their body cam. Hi, my name is Trent Henderson. I'm in Atlanta, Georgia. I feel like the situation basically is similar to George Floyd. Um, and I feel like cops basically lock us up because we are stronger than we appear, basically. Well, in fairness, he's 6'11", 220, and... 6'11", and, and, and they wouldn't, were and wouldn't let them in. We wouldn't let them in. If he were resisting, and, and again, this is a case where we're going to, once we see uh, the full body cam, we'll know the full story. But he's saying one thing about the, you know, about not being able to breathe, but the police saying he started this. So, um, we'll see. Uh, the video will tell.